Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I'm going to play some Tenno Rapid. But first, I just finished a, a Rapid game a little bit ago. It worked out in my favor. My opponent resigned. However, I think they resigned a little bit too early, and I'm just kind of curious. I never checked the analysis to see kind of what what should have been my, my next couple of moves. Um, when the game had ended, when the opponent resigned, let me just back up. I guess I'll just jump over to analysis right now. And I'm going to back up a couple. Of so we got to this position here, opponent uh, blunders, but they put their queen on the same uh, rank as mine with this pawn separating. So I go after this pawn attacking the queen. They can't take back because their queen is undefended. So they move over. I go after a bishop and um, they take that bishop. And then my opponent resigned right after that. Um, black did have an advantage, but not crazy. I think it was just like a, yeah, at this stage of the game, it's just about a 1.3 advantage. So my thought was going to be, after they did this, I was going to move my queen up here. However, according to the analysis, none of those queen moves would have been the best. So C takes D3, that was good for them. But really, I should have been looking at a rook move. And of course, I didn't pause to think very much. But yeah, now that I see it, obviously, rook to H5, that pawn is, is hanging. So I might as well snap it up while I can. That also you know, puts my rook on a light square. They only have a dark squared bishop now. Had I thought about it a little bit more, yeah, I think I would have seen that rook move for sure. Um, the other suggestion is rook c8, getting this rook lined up over here so that I can start doing the pawn push, which I should have done earlier, which I never took care of. Okay. Yeah, I just, I kind of, I, I went through the review on that game, but I didn't really think much about what should have happened had the game continued. Okay. Well, let's, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's see. I can't just do a restart there, so I'm going to head over to play. And we'll do a 10 minute. Elo 2CX from Spain. All right. Sicilian. Yeah, let's go ahead and push in the middle here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking about going and taking here. They will take back, and then I'll move my bishop up to challenge their bishop. Or do I think about putting my queen up in line and maybe going after the bishop in the next couple of moves? Yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead and take there. God, I don't know if I want to try to trade bishops. Their dark squared bishop certainly is stronger than mine. And they really need to take back. Well, I guess they could check first. Yeah, so their bishop could take my knight. And I'll have a double pawn structure. Yeah, not so hot, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to move up 
first. I still want a castle. That's fine. We take with the bishop, I'll take back. And maybe, yeah, maybe I should just go ahead and move this bishop out and for now. Okay, let's castle. See, what kind of damage can we do now? Um, I feel like I have a number of opportunities. Get a bishop up here, threaten their rook. Start to push pawns, see if I can't open up this side. Of course, if I go up right here, they can obviously take back with a knight. And of course, the queen is also over there, too. I might move my bishop up here in anticipation of some future pushes. I know I probably shouldn't have put my bishop, it's kind of hemmed in between two other pieces, but I would like to push, but also protect. All right, well, they're really going to town on this pawn. I guess I'm not too worried about that yet. So let's um, keep up with the plan. Okay. Now, if they take here, I would be compelled to take back with my queen, and that would free up that c3 pawn. Now if I drop back up here, I could do a pawn push. I can protect with the rook. Or drop the bishop down, take back with a rook. Yeah, I'll do that. Drop the bishop here, take back with a rook. I'm assuming, obviously, knight takes. Either way, if the knight doesn't take, I'm pushing this pawn, this um, h pawn. Okay, bringing a few more rooks to the party. Get my king off that last rank. And in the future, if I start to push here, we've got, so if I push here, they're gonna have one Two attackers. They just blocked their queen from being an attacker. 
And I'm going to have one, two, three defenders. They may be doing a push here, but I should be able to take that without too much issue. Okay, opponent has a seven to five advantage in time. Okay, I am going to take or push. I guess I'm gonna take, see if we can't open up something over here. Now, if they make a mistake and take, okay. I was gonna say, if they made a mistake and took the bishop first, I could have retaken with check with a pawn. I would have preferred not to get rid of my bishop, but um, may have to do that. See, I can take, let me take back with a queen. I'll have a check here. With potential of moving in with my queen. Yeah, let's go for it. Keeping my eye on this square. And then maybe I'll have time to double up rooks. Fact, I'm gonna double up those rooks now. up here, focused on that e7 square. You know, without moving my queen up here, do I have any options for raising up, takes, take check, king would have to move here, okay, let's factor this in here, let's see. Check, take, check, move, and then check here, king hides, my follow-up with that. Queen check. King can just be moving back and forth. Hmm. Yeah, and for that, okay, so let's reset for a moment. Oh crap, I'm getting a little long time. So let's see. Check, take, check, King drops, 
queen here check. Yeah, king can still escape. All right, I'm gonna do a rook there. I know I'm giving this up, but I feel like maybe, yeah, not sure what to do here. Maybe I need to get my queen over to this dark square and up this way. Probably should have done that without moving the rook. options clear out these arrows take take oops didn't expect that do I care um, yeah I guess I do care move my queen over here their queen is under attack protected by my rook checkmates in here if they don't take this and then checkmate okay what do we got what do we got let's go over here you're here or queen there yeah queen here Going up here, pen. Oh. Okay, we got a jet. Take with check. Check. Grab some pawns. Go after this rook. Maybe check with the uh, pawn. King takes, we have a fork. Okay, not quite yet. Move my king up. Okay, I think I've got plenty of time, so I don't wanna go too slow though. go down, I'm rechecking. Okay, under a minute. All 
All right, they can check me, but I'll hide up here. A little nervous about my time, but let's go for it. Fine, we'll get rid of it. Okay, not a stalemate. Check. Whew. Checkmate, they can't escape. Wow. All right. Buena partida. My opponent's from Spain. Whew. All right. Man, those tense games. I uh, get my hands a little bit jittery. I don't think I have a good, uh, I don't think I'd be good for poker. Okay. Upper 70s for accuracy. Yeah, I imagine a miss probably happened somewhere near the end. I'm sure I had a much better opportunity there. Um, but hey, four great moves. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and uh, jump through here real quick, see what we get. Okay, some book openings. Good, good, good. Okay, I don't like that one. Overlooked an opportunity to develop a rook, probably castle. Is that what they were suggesting? Oh no. Go ahead and get the uh, rook onto the B file. This is protected, but um, hmm, okay. Okay, so far a lot of good. I haven't really seen too much for inaccuracies pop up yet. Okay, there we go. Something better for me. Let me just hit the best button. Go ahead and get that bishop out. I didn't even consider putting the bishop out there. Um, but yeah. Okay. Not quite sure what that would get me, but... Um, I guess it's targeting this. It encourages them to weaken their king side a little bit more. Okay. Likes my push. Takes first. That's good. They didn't like that take first. Okay. Exchange bishops. Check. Double the rooks. Mistake by them. There we go. There is my miss. So they're just suggesting I go through and uh, trade pieces. They're saying the best move is to... Yeah, obviously I was considering that for sure. Um, good. That was their best shot. They don't like that... Um, Exchange or saying, yeah, drop back. I don't know, but this word would be nice if the uh, if the tools. Oh, they're saying that's a mate in seven. Queen h4, mate in seven. Hmm. Okay. So somehow I'm getting over here. Yeah, so that, yeah, if I can get my queen in there. That would certainly take care of it. So yeah, if they made any kind of silly, uh, silly move, let's say they took there. Yeah, mate and two, then I could go there. They would have to block uh, some kind of error. But okay, I think we get the gist though, for sure. Um, all right, man, another good game. So that's a couple wins in a row. So that's kind of nice. Rating is up to 1650. I think it was there before, but I'm kind of hovering, kind of plateaued a little bit. Um, I'm working on my uh, chest of 2,000 goal, but I'm also working on a weight loss goal, and I kind of plateaued in weight loss too. So 
guess you got to think of something for both goals to uh, get past those plateaus. If you made it this far in the video, appreciate your time. Thank you very much, and I will uh, talk to you soon. Bye.